So, hello my dear students, welcome. Today we will be starting with a new chapter in our main reader, that is Unit 6. This is Jordi's Fawn. Now, before starting with this chapter, I will just tell you a bit of the chapter so that you are aware of it, aware of the story as we go further. So it is about Jordi, his father, who was bitten by a poisonous snake. And in that, Jordi had to, to save him, Jordi had to kill a, for a, kill a deer. Okay, as we say, it's a doe, that is a female deer. And in that, so that he could suck the blood out from the liver, a uh, and how he saved his father and in that saving he was very disheartened because he had killed somebody and his uh, and the doors the female deer's child the fawn is left without a family without a mother so this was really very disheartening for jolly so how he took permission from his parents and then he bought that little fawn into his house and how he was taking care of him. So this is what is the story about. So let's start reading the chapter and know more about this story. So before we read, often instead of rushing to the doctor to treat a small cut or burn, we find quick and effective cures using things available at home. Can you think of such home remedies? Yes, we are become, we have become, a, you know, a box of, full of home remedies, natural, naturopathy, using nature, using natural things. In this COVID situation, we have come so close to the environment, so close to the nature so close to the natural things that are all around so you all must be knowing the answer of this three questions a cut on your knee and what we use turmeric a burn on your arm ice a bee sting soap water anything that has alkaline or even a toothpaste can be very good even um, as you said soap would be very good so in this story Jordi's father has been bitten by a rattlesnake now rattlesnake you all know a rattlesnake we have seen in discovery channel you must have heard about you must have seen picture also of a rattlesnake it's a snake that rattles means makes some hissing sound by lifting up his tail Okay, and it sounds like a rattle. You know, you must have seen your little uh, infants, you know, brothers and sisters must be using a rattle that makes sound. So it makes such kind of a sound when he finds he's been attacked or an enemy is near. So that is uh, the sound that it makes to let the enemy or the one who's, a, who's around some predators to know that there is a snake. So he quickly kills a doe and uses its heart and liver to draw out the poison. Jordi wonders what will happen to the little fawn left without a mother. So why does he use a liver and a heart? You all know that the heart, it keeps on pumping even if a person, like you know, it, it has life in it and it pumps. So when it pumps, that means it draws the blood and then it releases them. So same way, he uses this heart and liver when by killing the dough when the liver and heart is still alive to pump out the blood, the poisonous blood. So we start with the first part of the comprehension. Jordi allowed his thoughts to drift back to the form. Drift back means to go back. He was thinking about it. He could not keep it, keep it out of his mind. 
He had held it in his dreams in his arms. He slipped from the table and went to his father's bedside. Penny lay at rest. His eyes were opened and clear. But the pupils were still dark and dilated. Dilated means enlarged. Penny is his father. Johnny said, how are you feeling, Pa? Just fine, son. Old death had, has gone thriving elsewhere. But wasn't it close, she? That means he was on a dead, he was about to die and it was just a quick that he was just went there and just came back alive. Okay, so he was, it was a close shape. Means he was just at the door of death and he came out of it and was a narrow escape that if Johnny would have not taken such quick and calm decisions of cleaning a door and pumping the blood out from the heart and the liver of a door, then the situation would have been just different. He would have died. So it was just a narrow escape for him. Penny said, I am proud of you, boy. The way you kept your head and did was needed. Yes, because we all become so panicky, so nervous in such kind of situation or maybe afraid also. That we don't know that a mind doesn't work. We don't know what, what should be done, what we can do. So instead we do something that is totally opposite of it. But in this situation, Jordi was took a, he took a very wise decision and very calmly he did what has to be done to save his father. Pa, yes son. Pa, do you recollect the door and the phone? I can never forget them. The poor dog, sa dog saved me. That's certain. Pa, the fawn may be out there yet. It might be hungry and very scared. Yes, the thought of the lonely fawn kept on moving in the the thought kept on coming in Jordi's mind again and again that he he killed the dog because he had to save his father's life but he was still worried about what would happen to the fawn who we have left alone with a, without a mother pa i am a big boy now and don't need to think drink milk and why and why don't i go see if i can find the fawn and drink it here and raise it. Penny lay quiet, staring at the ceiling. Boy, you've got me hemmed in. Hemmed in means caught in a situation where one can't see anything. Yes, he has hemmed his father. Means he has made his. Means he has caught his father in such a situation where he was not. He was uh, speechless that he couldn't say anything to him because yes, they had done something very bad by killing a dog and leaving the baby alone. But yet, it was needed to be done because it was the necessity of the hour. So that is what left his father speechless in a hem. It won't take much to raise it, Pa. It will soon start eating leaves and acorns. Acorns are small, brown nuts. You are smarter than boy of your age. We took we took its mother and it wasn't to blame. Surely it seems ungrateful to leave it to stuff. Son, I can't say no to you. I never thought I'd live to see another day. Yes, he is here and he is alive. His father is alive because of the dog that was killed by his son. And it was not Fawn's fault. So why he would be left alone to starve? Why he would be alone? So he said, yes, you are a big boy and the thought is very apt according to the situation and we should do something for him. Can I ride back with Millwheel and see if 
I can find it. Mill wheel is a wheel that is used to draw water. So he wanted to be being gone with that man who was there. Tell your ma, I said, you can go. He sided back to the table and sat down. His mother was pouring coffee for everyone. He said, Ma, Pa says, I can go bring the bag the form. He held the coffee pot in mid-air. What form? The form belonged to the dough we killed. We used the dough's liver to draw out the poison and save Pa. She gasped. Well, for pity's sake. Pa says it would be ungrateful to leave it to starve. Doc Wilson said, That's right, ma'am. Nothing in the world comes quite free. That's right, that boy right. And his daddy is right. Yes, because they, they know that whatever they are doing, whatever they did actually, was not uh, good. But they had to do it in, in terms of saving his dad's life. So they had to be, uh, they can't be ungrateful to such a situation, to the fawn. Milwil said, he can ride back with me and help him find it. She set, uh, she set down the pot helplessly. Well, if you give me, give it your milk, we've got nothing else to feed it. Milwil said, come on boy, We've got to get right in. Ma Baxter asked anxiously. You will not be gone long. Jolly said, I'll be back before dinner for sure. Milby mounted his horse and pulled Jolly up behind him. He said to Milby, Do you think the fawn's still there? Will you help me find it? Will we'll find him if he's alive? How do you know it's a he? So there is another thought and there's a conversation actually going on between Mill and Jordi about the form. That is he still there? Is he still alive? And how does Jordi know that he's a male or she. It's a he or a she. A female or a male. So they started on the horse and started following the path. Now how? The spots were all in a line. One a doe form. Passes the spots are every which way. That means in different directions. Now, they started following the train where they wanted to go, but everything was not in place. And in a different direction, the spots were going on to different directions where they had gone early. So, the next uh, comprehension says, Jordi gave him himself over a thought of a form. They passed the abandoned clearing. That means they wanted to go and look for the fawn and they started moving in to see the fawn.